One year ago, on October 1st, 2019, we officially launched Streamlit. It's been a year, and to celebrate, we jammed in a bunch of exciting new features to delight the community. The big thing we're launching is new layout options. We have three new APIs available and some fun syntactical sugar to make your lives easier. The first layout option we have is columns. With columns, you can compare things side by side, or you can use columns to create a grid layout. The best part is we made sure that columns work across devices. To get started, check out our documentation for ST beta columns. Next up is containers. Containers is just like ST empty, but better. With containers, you can define blocks and add as many elements as you want to your blocks. Best of all, you can add to the containers in any order. To get started, check out our documentation for ST beta container. The third API we have is expanders. We've noticed the creativity of our users using a checkbox to hide and show content. Now you can simply use ST expanders and we'll create a container that can be toggled open or closed. To get started, check out our documentation for ST Beta Expander. To wrap up layouts, we've introduced support for context management that can be used with any building block, such as the sidebar, ST Empty, or any of the new layout options. To do this, you can use the with statement. We highly recommend using this approach when working with Streamlit containers. And in fact, this is the only way to use custom components in these new layout options. Beyond layouts, we have a new and improved file uploader. Besides the visual changes, we've thrown in some nice functionality the community has been requesting. One of the things was the need to know more about the uploaded file. So now we're providing you with the file name, file type, and file size. But that's not all. You'll also be able to upload multiple files. With multiple files here, we've also added the ability to delete uploaded files. The redesigned file uploader will cause breaking changes, so if you haven't already done so, please update your app. For more information, please see the documentation for ST File Uploader. And if that wasn't enough, we've added in some small but happy changes. ST Balloon now has new balloons that move much more smoothly. Lastly, we removed several deprecated items related to charting libraries. If you have not updated your app since January 2020, please take a look. Check out our GitHub to see the full list of changes and make sure to join our forums if you have any questions. We have a very active and welcoming community of developers and would love to see you there. Come say hello, show off your projects, or see what other people are up to with Streamlit. As always, a big thank you to all our contributors and the community for helping make Streamlit what it is today. That's all for today. Make sure you upgrade and give this new version 0.68 a try.